This video is sponsored by Google Pixel. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a New York City day in the life showing you all the features of the Pixel 8 Pro and the Pixel Watch 2. Now, the first thing that I do in the morning is wake up. I hope that's the same thing for you too. But one thing I like to look at is how much did I sleep last night? What was kind of my overall resting heart rate? And the great thing about the Pixel Watch 2 is that I can view that data and then I can go to the Fitbit Today section on the watch and I can scroll down to be able to see my total time slept, and if I tap that, I'll be able to see my entire time that I slept, my sleep score, as well as all my sleep stages, how long I spent in each stage, and kind of what my average sleep is over the past week. And if I want to view that information on the Google Pixel, I can just press open, I go ahead and pull up my phone, and bam, I'm going to easily be able to see my sleep information on my phone as well. So it makes it super seamless to be able to capture that data on the watch, view the data on the watch, and then also view the data on my phone. Now, I'm a little bit tired, so let's go get some coffee to wake me up. All right, so we're, now we're gonna go to a coffee shop, so I want to go to one of my favorites, Intelligenista, on the High Line. We're gonna tap it right there. We're gonna get directions. It's eight minutes, I can tap start here. It's gonna find the best route. I'm gonna pull up the watch, and we have navigation here to the coffee shop that we're going to. It's gonna show me how far away we are, what turns we need to make. Um, I can show the map as well if I want to. Boom, and it's gonna show my exact location. Uh, we're just walking straight down there. Um, boom, so let's head on over to Intelligenista Coffee Highland Hotel and get some coffee, baby. All right, we have arrived at the coffee shop. Let's go get some uh, iced coffee or cold brew. What should I get? Jacqueline would say I have to get a cold brew, right? <laughs> We're gonna go inside and use Google Pay to buy some coffee and maybe some burritos. Breakfast tacos? Google Pay, check. Tap to pay on my watch is absolutely one of my favorite things. I use it by groceries, I can use transit, like paying for the subway, and then just buying coffee in the morning, snacks, food, whatever. It's so seamless, I don't have to pull out my phone. It's a quick double tap on the watch and pay. We're good to go. If you do want to buy the Google Pixel or the Pixel Watch, they will be linked in the product tags down below. Make sure to click that, it'll help support the channel. We make some money and it's at no cost to you. The next thing we'll talk about is the ultra wide selfie. So let's say I want to take a selfie with me, myself and I. So here we have the regular selfie mode. I'm gonna go ultra wide selfie. Now we have a ton of space. If I try to reach my arm out all the way over here, I can barely extend. Bam, cheers. Like if you want to get a good photo wide and encapsulate everything in the space, Amazing ultra wide selfie camera. All right, so there are these beautiful berries here that I wanna capture, so I'm going to pull up the camera here and I'm gonna line it up super close to the berries and I'm gonna to wanna to switch to macro. It automatically does it for me because macro is on and now I can capture an amazing photo of the berries super close up, get really fine detail. A macro lens is great, especially when you're trying to take photos of very small things and get super close and get that really fine detail. So I love having that feature on the Google Pixel 8 Pro. All right, we're headed to the track, going from the west side to the east side. We're gonna get a little run-in, heart rate zone-based training, pace-based training, all on the Google Pixel Watch 2. A really cool feature that I love about the Pixel is the super zoom. I'm gonna be able to get a 30X zoom on this phone. There's this cool building over there. So I'm gonna try to zoom in on that. Let's see how close I can get. So I'm gonna pull up the camera here, 5X optical, and if I wanna go digital, we're gonna zoom all the way in to 30X, and now I can actually see what that building looks like, and I can take a photo. It builds a little frame. Because you're moving so much, it's really hard to know what you're capturing, because if I move it just a little bit, it just goes, jump somewhere else. Like, oh, look, I can see that car, boom. So it's good to have this little box in the top right to kind of show me where I am in the frame of all this. And then I can capture photos. And if I just come back out, you can see the vastness of how far I've zoomed in. So all right, so now I'm about to do an outdoor run with the watch and it's got GPS, which is really nice. It's gonna track my heart rate, which is great. There's some new updates now where I can do heart rate zone based training as well as pace based training. So I'm gonna start this outdoor run workout and I'm gonna select a zone two workout. So for me, it's like 136 to 140 heart rate ish. So we're gonna set that today to be in that range and I'm gonna just run at these paces and try to stay within that range while I'm running on the east side highway right here. It's beautifully gorgeous here in New York City. So let's get a run in. Okay, just did 1.36 miles, quick little run, 15 minutes-ish. Try to keep my heart rate in the zone, but you know, when I stopped running or slowed down, it fell down, so it buzzed to vibrate to let me know I'm outside of my zone. We're gonna pause the workout. I can see all the data about how my run went. And that's it, next up, we need to grab some lunch and take some photos of that. All right, so now we turned on navigation, Google Maps navigation, biking directions on the watch. I wanna see, will the automatic 
bike tracking start or not. But it does have automatic fitness tracking. So it automatically detected that I was biking and, and just asked me, hey, do you want to start an outdoor bike? And now we have. It's going to track my heart rate, distance, and speed. We're going about six miles an hour right now. And I'll do that for walking and running as well. So especially in New York, when I walk a lot, being able to be notified, hey, you're walking outdoors, do you want to start tracking a workout? Is really valuable. Woo. Biking complete. And now we're going to pause the workout. All right, we just finished the spiking workout. So you can see all the data. We did almost one mile of biking, but now we're going to end the workout. Way to go, Shervin. Here's my exercise recap. 6% in target heart rate zone. The speed, distance. 10.4 miles per hour, and now we can just save. But that was a little bike that was automatically tracked. And we are headed to a park, so I'm gonna pull back up to our maps here. Four minutes away via biking directions. Look how easy it is. I can scroll, I can zoom in and out with the dial. That's a huge change. And I can swipe around the screen, which is like a must have. I filmed a video earlier today where it was outside, it was windy, there's a lot of music. And now we're gonna use the Audio Magic Eraser. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull up the video here. The test of the ultra wide lens. I can, so this is the part that was really windy. Having a great camera on your phone is so important, especially when you wanna capture your best memories. Let's tap edit. It's gonna identify the sounds. There, I can see speech, wind, and noise. So I can go to wind, noise, and uh, maybe I can turn the wind all the way down and the noise all the way down. Having a great camera on your phone is so important, especially when you want to capture your best memories and moments and get it in high quality. Oh wow, then that's how it sounds. There's literally no wind in the audio now and I can save that as my new video. So I want to capture a photo of this building, but there's a car in the way and the building is really beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a photo, regular photo, and I want to use Magic Eraser to get rid of the car. So I'm gonna go to tap edit here. I'm gonna go to tools, magic eraser, and I'm gonna just circle the car and just get rid of it. And the photo's gonna look that much better. This is one of the powerful AI features on the Google Pixel. It's like automatically editing your phone without using any special software at all. Erase it. Maybe I missed a little there, so I'm gonna circle that a bit. Boom. Now it's like the car never existed. Now one of the best features on it, on the new Google Pixel is best take. So when you're taking a photo of a group of friends, family, we all know not everyone times their smile at the same exact time. So I'm, I can take multiple photos and then I can take the best take of each face and update that photo. So we're gonna show you what that's like. So let's take a selfie and boom, look at that. Looks like Zach made a weird face. So now we're going to use the best take from the photos so that way we're both smiling in this main photo. So I just asked a stranger to take a photo of me and it's a little blurry on my face. So now I'm gonna use the unblur feature. I'm gonna tap the photo, tap edit, and then go ahead tools and unblur just to make my face less blurry and hopefully recover this photo that could have been better. Look at that blurry version. And then the unblur did a pretty good job. So because I have Google Wallet on here, I can do tap to face. I'm gonna double tap to activate. It's gonna show my card, we'll tap and we're good to go. And it's just that easy. I don't have to carry any cards. I don't have to tap my phone. It just makes it effortless. Unlocked our achievement of getting 10,000 steps in today and it's not even four o'clock yet. Now, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications. If you want to see future videos, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and X at Sherman Shares. So if you didn't know, I'm actually a big fan of Google Maps. So I can use Google Maps and find transit directions on how we need to get back home. And it's gonna tell me that I can pay with Google Wallet, which is great. And I know exactly which exit and which direction I need to get off as well. So I really appreciate that, Google. I need to do an outfit of the day check. And typically I need to use the back lens because it's just nicer, but I can't see myself. So I'm gonna use the watch as a viewfinder. Whatever the phone sees, I can see on my watch. I'm gonna put my phone down right here. Right, and I can go ahead and tack a photo right there. Bam, done. Right on my watch, I can see what I'm taking a photo of and I can take the photo without having to touch the phone. All right, so one of the really nice features of the Google Pixel is Live Translate. So let's say I'm traveling somewhere where I don't speak the language, I can go ahead and turn on Live Translate and it's going to translate that for, for the other person and then translate for me what they're saying. ¿Dónde está el baño? Where is the restroom? Estoy bien, ¿y tú? I'm good, and you? It will automatically translate. There's also a manual option and a keyboard and you can pick which language is going and easily be able to translate all that information. So it's going to verbally say it and write it while you're doing that, freaking cool.
So the Google Pixel 8 Pro has a thermometer right here, and we're gonna test it with hot water and cold water. I have a cold plunge outside, so we're gonna test the cold water there. We're making hot water right now, so I'll test that and show you what the experience is like if you wanna see what's the temperature of your tea, your coffee, whatever it is, or even your cold plunge outside. This is currently at 212. We're gonna pour water in these cups. I'm gonna tap the thermometer app. It's gonna say tap to measure. I have it set to beverages and water, so we're gonna put the sensor over. Tap to measure, 165. Cool, so we know we know that the water's hot, but let's check cold water. So this is my cold plunge, so now we're gonna to tap to measure here. Two inches away, 54 degrees. It is definitely cold inside of here. So that is a cold plunge for sure. We know the cold plunge is really, really cold. Now we're gonna test the night sight features because the sun is set, it's really dark outside. So let's go take a photo outside at night and see what it looks like. All right, so this is a regular camera mode and if I go to night sight, it's actually like, it's extremely dark right now. And it's surprising like how much detail we're able to get in the bricks right here. So I can tap this night mode. It's gonna take a two second shot. It's gonna put it together, stitch it. And then we'll bam, like look at that. It's literally dark on these walls but it's able to pick up all that detail. So, night sight. Since you enjoyed this video, go watch all my other fun day in the life videos. If you wanna purchase a Google Pixel product, they will be linked in the product section down below. Using that link is at no cost to you and it helps support the channel. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications down below. Follow me on all the social medias at Sherman Chairs. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. This video is sponsored by Google Pixel. 